This is just a quick video I put together for people who are building or thinking of building an RC2014 kit and who, like me, use a Mac. I've recently built my own RC2014 Classic 2. I've nicknamed mine the Drunken RC. It's got a bit of a list to it. It's not perfect, but hey. So I connect the RC to my Macintosh via a USB to serial connection. It's an FTDI device. Connecting is one thing and communicating is definitely another. So to interact with the RC series, you need a terminal program. Now on Windows, the terminal program you use, and it's a no-brainer really, is putty. It's ancient, but it works. On the Mac, when you're researching how to connect, it's almost universally said that the best choice is Minicom. Now, Minicom is comprehensive and complex. However, I wanted my terminal to display VT colors, and could I act as like coax colors out of Minicom? A little grubbing around on the internet revealed that a strong alternative to Minicon is the screen command, which, handily, comes pre-installed in macOS. So to use the screen command to access the RC2014, you need two things. The device, or the device name that the serial to USB cable is registered on, and the board rate to access the device at. But getting the device, it's pretty simple. So first of all, I'm going to start with the RC2014 unplugged. I'm going to list all the TTY devices into a file and I'm going to call that file unplugged. So next I'm going to plug the 2014 in and repeat the process putting the list of devices into a file named plugged. I mean, finally we diff those two files and the result is the entry for our device. In this case it's slash dev slash TTY dot USB modem 08091. Now your results will be different. So make a note of this. I also don't know if this is an invariant. I don't know if it depends on the internal device ID of the device itself, or if it could change over time if you plug in other devices. So you may have to repeat this process in the future. So I said you need that in the board rate. Um, well, the board rate is fixed. So from the documentation, it's 115200, which is really fast for a seven megahertz Z80. The other serial configuration is the number of bits, stop bits and parity bits. Now the RC2014 is an eight N1 device or eight bits, one stop bit and no parity. Eight N1 happens to be the default for screen. So we don't actually need to specify any of those settings on the command line, just the board rate. So let's launch screen. So we enter the command screen, slash dev slash TTY USB modem 08091 space 115200. As I said before, your device ID will vary. So I reset the 2014 and I get the, the prompt and then I enter the program. That's working, that's sweet. A couple of important keystrokes to remember. Most importantly, to exit screen, you type control A, then control backslash. You hit Y to confirm. While it says quit and kill all windows, which sounds quite severe, this is not gonna affect your RC2014 at all. It'll still be running away in the background fine. So back in the screen app, how do you find out what the available commands are? Well, the command control A, question mark, brings up the help screen. The commands on this screen all need to be prefixed with control A. So you can see in there that it says quit is control backslash. And as we've already seen, that means you type in control A, control backslash. Okay, so far so good. Let's make a mistake, shall we? So here I'm typing list with two T's and hitting backspace to delete the extra T adds a T. Hmm. In further backspaces, compound the, the issue. And if you notice, it's actually just typing list backwards. So this sort of palindrome thing is an indication that the backspace isn't being inserted in the stream when I hit the backspace key. So I had a little play around with control letter combinations and that showed me that control H was the backspace key. So how do we map the backspace key to control H? Uh, the fix for this took a little googling but we had to, to edit the settings file for the screen app. So using the command vim tilde slash dot screen rc and then if it's it'll be either a new file or an existing file and we add the line Bind key 177 stuff hat h. We save that, restart screen, and as they say, Bob's your uncle, it works. So that bind key command is simply saying bind key number 177, which is the backspace key, and stuff 
which just is an internal command for screen, which means insert this next character into the console in stream, and then we put control H. So basically every time you hit key 177, it's just sticking the control H into the input stream at that point. And that's what makes backspace work. So I want to talk a bit about getting programs onto and off from the RC 2014. So the RC 2014 Classic 2 that I bought comes with Microsoft Basic. It doesn't, however, have any form of emulated hard drive. So there's no way to save basic programs to and from a disk. You have to do it to and from the terminal. So I mean, at the risk of sounding like blatantly obvious, the easiest way to get a program from the host to the RC 2014 is via copy and paste. Certainly when using Minicom online, I've seen a lot of comments saying things like pasting large files causes issues and that the 119200 baud rate of the RC 2014 is just far too high for a 7 megahertz Z80 and it overwhelms it. And while this may be true, the screen app appears to insert a delay between virtual keystrokes and works fine. And to test this, I wrote a 500 line basic program that just basically had a load of REM statements in it. And I pasted that into screen and it went across perfectly. So here I'm pasting the source code to the Mandelbot generator that comes from the RC2014 basic programs collection and running it. Put a link to that program collection in the description. Getting a basic program off the RC is slightly less easy, but still simple enough. So to do this, I run the screen command with the minus L flag and I get it to log to a file. So to do this, exit screen. Don't forget your RC2014 session will still be running. Run screen minus capital L and then your device name and then the board rate. Now list out your program and exit screen again. A file called screenlog.zero is created in the current working directory. Now, if that file exists, the output from the session is appended to it. So if you're extracting a basic program, always delete any existing file before you run the screen command. If we look at the log file content, we can see it. It's a literal capture of the screen output. So the extraneous list command at the start of the file and the superfluous OK at the end of it will need to be trimmed before we save this file again. But as you can see, round trip development is possible and persisting basic programs is a thing. In normal day to day operation with the RC2014 and using screen, very few things go wrong. The most common issue I find is that I try to connect to the device and I have an issue connecting. If you're having an issue on connecting with screen, keep an eye on the title bar of the terminal window. The message cannot exec slash dev slash device, your device as usual will vary, followed by no such file or directory, means the RC2014 isn't plugged in or not powered on. Done that before. The other message that I see a lot is, sorry, could not find a PTY. Now this means normally that you're connected to the RC2014 in another window. So to verify this, you can type screen minus list and you'll see a list of open connections. If there's anything on this list at all, it means it's open already. While there are various flags you can pass to screen to terminate existing connections or attach to them, personally, I just go look through my terminal windows and use the one already connected. I mean, another alternative is just power cycle your RC2014 because that frees the connection as well. However, of course, you'll lose any in-memory state on the RC if you do that. So probably not something we want. If you're thinking of building an RC2014 or have just finished doing so, I hope this video is of use to you. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.